there. Uh, it's uh, Wednesday, Thursday today. I'm back down at the shed. I wanted to do a, a couple of quick tests uh, just to see if I can figure out uh, what's going on uh, on this uh, table. Uh, so what I just did uh, in an attempt to see if I could maybe diagnose what the shifting problem is because I looked over the code and I can't find anything wrong with it. So uh, there's like 139 LEDs or something like that in this table. So I made my buffer 10 longer, but I'm, I'm, only, I'm gonna stop where I always stop, just in case there's something strange with talking to the last location in the buffer. Uh, don't, don't really hold much, uh, you know, belief that this is going to find anything, uh, but I thought I would give it a try. So, um, uh, so it ought to count on through here. I'm going to hit this into high speed in a second and just let it run, and I'll slow it back down again when it gets back down here to the bottom. Uh, we'll see if it makes any difference. I should say the thing that I'm mostly looking for is whether after it gets all the way done and it clears, if this still shifts or not over one location. By the way, I should comment that uh, Right now, I don't have the pinball machine turned on. I only have uh, the power to my microprocessor turned on and running this. And so far, everything is running really cleanly. Uh, so another thing I can do if this looks like it goes through uh, completely well, then I'll uh, uh, go ahead and power the machine back on and, and let it do it again. Uh, Okay, so that is very interesting. So with the extended buffer, the indexing of these lights did not occur. Huh. So, or the power on the thing. So let me turn the pinball machine on. Um, now this program that's in here does not respond to anything, so it, it, this shouldn't make any difference, but... It's something we can watch. Okay, third time through and it still has an index so that appears to have definitely made a change um, so I'm gonna stop with that test for now and one of the other things I want to do today is replace like about five of these LEDs in this general area just to see if that fixes the problem with the color changing and stuff so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna turn the camera off and I'll go ahead and uh, and pull up the table, turn it over, and swap out those LEDs. Okay, I have uh, just uh, plugged the lights back in. Uh, I have uh, replaced this bulb and these four bulbs. Uh, and uh, we're going to see if that makes a difference. Now, it may not have been real clear in the last video, but what was happening is this little test routine that I have is stepping through four colors, well, three colors in white. So it goes uh, like red, green, blue, white, red, green, blue, white, red, green, blue, white. And that steps on down to here. And somewhere right in here, it stops doing the colors and only blinks the white on. Uh, and then that steps through and it repeats. And we saw that happen with both the 10 string in and out. It happened at this location, which is why we think that there was a bad LED in this particular place. Uh, 
So I'm going to let this run through a couple of times and uh, we'll see uh, how that looks. Of course, uh, we've had uh, false positives before, uh, so this isn't going to prove that it works. It's only going to uh, maybe indicate that it's working better. And we will see how that goes. I might load the, uh, uh, the regular game code in and see how that plays uh, in here if this goes through without losing the colors. And I know the colors are kind of hard to see on camera. And, uh... Quit talking and start talking. If there's a colored uh, plastic lid over the LED, some of the colors won't show up, so that makes it look like it may not be doing all the colors too, uh, but that isn't the case. Okay, it looked like it stepped right through there doing all the colors. So it should be down here now, and then here, and then there and then up into here, oh, there and there. Okay, that is looking like it's working perfectly. Uh, did not uh, change the index. Uh, all the lights cleared at the same time, which they weren't doing before. So I definitely think we have fixed one problem. So let me go ahead and quickly load the uh, other uh, uh, regular game code in and see how the attract mode looks. Okay, I have uh, loaded uh, the new uh, the uh, game code in. Uh, and everything looks like it's uh, working really well. Everything seems to be flashing that's supposed to be flashing, with the exception of one bulb, and that was this one right here. And I'll have to take a look at that. There is a slight possibility that I have that index wrong, and, um, and some other bulb is flashing in its place or something. I don't know. I, I looked online. Uh, and watch the video, and this normally does flash in the attract sequence. So I don't know. We'd have to, to play a game and get it up to, uh, uh, to win that 56,000 bonus to see if that turns it on that way. Uh, but other than that, uh, this attract mode looks like it's working really well now. Um, and again, I did replace this LED, uh, so it's not the LED itself. And we know that the signals are getting past it, so it isn't the previous LED stopping communications with that. So it's got to be something else. So I'll, I'll take a look at that. Uh, I'm going to let this run for a few minutes. Uh, I'm out of time again today, so I need to head on back home. But... Uh, but this looks very promising. As a matter of fact, this looks like a game now. Uh, so. Well, hello there. It's uh, Friday morning, and I'm back down here at the shed. Uh, I found a bug uh, that was keeping the uh, 56K uh, light from turning on. Uh, I had a, an index problem with it. So... Uh, I am logging on. I'm going to download the new code and uh, give that a check out and see what it looks like. Um, if all is good, uh, this should uh, fix everything. I also sped up the refresh rate on the LEDs. That might cause a problem. I might have to slow that back down. So we'll see what it looks like once we get the, the new code loaded in. Uh, so I'll bring you back and show you that as soon as I get it all uploaded. Okay, the code is loaded in there. It is uh, running the uh, uh, 
Uh, attract mode. Uh, it looks like everything is working well, although, like I said before, we've seen that before and we're wrong. Uh, so I'm going to uh, let this just sit here uh, and work for a while to see what it looks like. Uh, Mike is uh, actually on his way down here. Uh, it's a holiday weekend, so he took the day off from work and uh, he's got some other things to do, but he's going to stop by here and take a look at this. Uh, so uh, I'm going to stop talking and I'm just going to let this sit here and cook uh, and see what it looks like and then when Mike gets here we'll start a game. Okay, Mike came down while we were playing and we're just uh, playing around with the table, taking out all the lights and everything. Uh, everything looks like it's working great, so except for the uh, kicker, we need to adjust. But we got two players. Okay, so just seven ball. I think I know what's happening. What's happening? It's sitting too far, the ball is sitting too far down that way. Maybe we need to tweak that. Okay. We can, we can. Yeah, we'll do So go ahead, knock some stuff Nine down, make ball, some scores. 10 ball, 11 ball, 12 ball. ball make the on. 8 ball. Nice shot. Get the deluxe. Four X's mm -hmm. advancing. Shoot four right. bank shot. So we we don't have the rollover there. switch in, yeah. Right, now the bank shot is worth fifty. That's that target. Hard to do. Almost made it. Wow, that's not good. What? We need to probably adjust. These targets should come up a little bit higher. Yeah, I'm not sure. That's nice. worth a special. Nice See if you can just... nice. All right, we've nice got it shot. set. The special is just fifty thousand. Not okay, free not game. free game. So we'll have to adjust that. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> oh, okay. So, so that fifty-six, k comes on. Yeah. 15, 14, 12, 11, 13. 10, 9 balls. Oh, we need a, we need a highlight. Shoot yeah. for 8 balls. Right, right. You did actually uh, highlight that once already. So we're back on player 1. 1 ball. Six no light up there, so we can't tell. Right. Make the 8 ball. All right, so that's it. game over. So it looks like everything. Yeah, working it looks like everything is working. Except for over here. We yeah, which I don't have the rollover fingers in it. And we need to do some adjusting here yeah. for the ball kick out. Other than that, it looks almost done. So guys, uh, uh, while Monday seemed to be a washout, uh, it actually gave us the vectors we needed to home in on the problems and. It looks like we got that all fixed, so I imagine that next Monday we'll be putting lights in the back box, and this thing will be close to a playing table, and then we got some uh, cosmetic painting to do, and this table will be done. So, yeah, looking good. Thanks a lot for watching, guys.